This is our number one Bible cover, and I'd like to show you how it works and some of the features on it. And by the way, uh, I have this on our number one writing board. This is um, a board that I use almost every night uh, to write on or, you know, if I lay my Bible out on it or whatever. So if you don't have one of these, I think you'd find it to be a really uh, nice thing to have at home just to, you know, when you're sitting in a chair to write or, you know, whatever. Anyway, the Bible cover, I wanted it to be something different than the Bible covers out there. So I designed it with some features that were important to me. And you can see that you know, we have the Bible here in the middle. And also over here I have a notepad. And always when I read the Bible, I always make notes or there's something I want to remember or come back to or et cetera. So I'm always having to write on something. And that's why I, I, I put the, uh, the writing pad in here. And it serves a good purpose for that point. And also, uh, I wanted it also to kind of serve as a journal. And what we've done here, we've included our number 28 pocket journal uh, with it. And this is something that when you want to make a more permanent note or maybe there's a subject you're covering and you want to continue to make notes in here and, uh, and write about it, then that's where the journal comes in. And eventually when you fill it up, um, you can buy uh, replacements for this as well. So, and then of course the Bible opens up, you know, like so. So you have your Bible here and, uh, and you have your notes over here, etc. Also, with each Bible cover, we, we include a, the old rugged cross bookmark. And why we call it the old rugged cross is that when we cut these out of the leather, we always cut them with a scar on them. And I think that kind of brings things a little closer to home. So uh, I hope you find this to be something that uh, that's meaningful to you as well. Also, as an example, the way the, uh, the cover is designed, you can kind of use it in different ways. For example, if you didn't want to keep your journal under here, you can slip it under this location here where the Bible is. And now you've got it there. So if you're reading and whatever, and you want to make a note in your journal, you just turn over here and there it is, and you can do it and you don't have to pull it out. So just depending on your personal preference, that's how you want to use it. Um, there's also another way that you can insert your Bible in here, depending on your preference. Uh, my preference is the way that it is here. And this somewhat depends on the size of your Bible, but you can also take your Bible and put it under the back like this here, and then put the front cover under here as well. And uh, like this. So now then, uh, you know, your Bible is in there like this. So if you close it up, you know, it's that way. Your Bible opens up over, mostly over on this side in the middle. Uh, again, here, probably if you're going to put your journal in here, you might want to slide it over here and keep it in that direction, you know, keep it over there in that part of it. Um, so there's an option if you'd like to use it. Um, and of course, that it's a little difficult to use your pencil holder in this position. So I think that pretty much uh, gives you an idea of the number one Bible cover and how it works. And um, I hope you find something here that you like.